Hey guys, welcome back to another math lesson. Today we're going to look at writing equations and for the most part I think it's going to be very obvious for most of you, but I did want to hit on some parts that might trip you up. I want you to think real quick, what is 2 less than 10? What number is 2 less than 10? 2 less than 10. It's 8. So we know that this is 8. When you say it like that, you know, okay, well, 8 is 2 less than 10. But how many of you would write it 2 minus 10? This is not how you would write this. Don't do it this way. Don't do it that way. So when you see less than, you have to flip the order. So 2 less than 10 is going to be written 10 minus 2. So good, bad. Don't do it this way. Do it this way. And think logically when you're getting your answers, when you're thinking about it, it doesn't make sense. So if I told you 2 less than, a number is 7. And what we're doing today is we're identifying that missing piece. What are we trying to figure out? In this situation, what are we trying to figure out? We're trying to figure out what this a number is. This is my x, a number. And we know 2, and we know 7. What does the word is mean equals so is means equals so we've got two less than a number we're going to say x equals seven now using this information what should your equation look like x minus two equals seven so what is x X is 9 in this situation because going back to those one-step equations from sixth grade. Now, usually we spend a day brainstorming words that mean things. I'm just going to show you our list that we've created over the past couple of years. So for adding, we've got, if it says greater than, added to, a deposit means your account goes up, increasing, up. More than, I have more than you, so add, um, total sum, and then take these with a grain of salt. Sometimes they mean add, sometimes they might mean multiply. Um, subtracting, we're going to take away, minus, reduce, less, less than, fewer. Um, don't forget when it's less than, flip that order. Um, decrease, deduct means go down, withdraw means to take out, um, multiply we've got times the product multiplicative by so like a two by four is two by four two times four um of each per distribute every twice um divide we've got quotient i'm noticing we don't have difference subtract should have difference because we have sum product quotient I need to add difference. All students from years past, we forgot difference. All right, each share split. Ooh, that's a good one, split. If you're splitting the check or you're splitting the cost of something, that's a divide. Each sometimes, but also each and every are also multiply. So you have to read really carefully. Um, distribute if we're distributing stuff. Again, this is a list that we've created over the past several years. Um, a variable, the one thing you don't know, if it says an unknown or a number or something, if you want to get real vague and just say something, two less than something. Um, equals, this is the big one a lot of people don't realize. Equals means, or is means equals. So when it says five plus five is, that's equals. Result in has an outcome of um, same. Those mean equal. If you can think of any others, let me know. I'd love to add to my list. Um, 
we usually hang this up in the classroom. All right, so we've got our equation. Now let's look at some examples. Because I think this is just best in practice. So we've got the sum of 15 and 6 times a number is 81. Don't worry about the what is the number part, but write that equation. What do you think that equation is going to look like? So I see sum, that means add. We've got sum right here, that's add. So I'm, I've got 15 and 6 times a number. So here's my t right here, t. So 15 plus 6t equals 81. All right, let's look at the next one. An electrician charges $40 to come to your house. She, ooh, she, she also charges $55 for each hour that she works. The electrician charges you a total of $190. How many hours does the electrician work at your house? Use H for the number of hours. Again, not solving it. What does this equation look like? So I see we've got $40 just to show up. So that's 40, put that aside. And then she charges 55 times H because we've got this H right here and we know it's 55 for each hour. So we've got 40 plus 55 H equals total. So there's that equals 190 equals 190. All right, last one. A taxi charges $1.75 plus a fee of 75 cents for each mile traveled. The total cost of a ride without a tip, so just don't ignore that part, is $4.75. How many miles is the trip? Use M for the number of miles traveled. What does this equation look like? All right, so we know that the taxi charges this much, like flat. you get in the taxi, it's $1.75. And then every mile you drive is 0. 0.75. So 0. 0.75 times, because here's that each, 0. 0.75 times M. So 175 plus or added to 0. 0.75 times M. And here's your total cost equals 475. All right, you guys, good luck. I think you'll do great on this one. Read carefully.